you. Christopher, I mean, we've I, I, I've known you for years. I, I found out something new about you today. Yeah. I was in Stand By Me. About I the remember. Four boys, okay. <laughs> oh, are you? I, yeah. I love how you listen. Jerry, I know it's because you're like the sweetest, kindest guy, but you drop that like people don't know. It's one of the greatest films in well, the history of yeah, cinema. You know, yeah. Oh, I was in this. I also, I'm also like always surrounded by like 15 year olds now that my, or my daughter's friends and they're like, what? What is even Sam by me? Who even are you? Who are you? I've never heard of it. <laughs> Stand by me. Is it on TikTok? No, I don't know. This up. It might be. <laughs> but you were college roommates with my Stand by Me co-star, Will we? Yeah, Will. I've wow. known Will since we were kids. Oh my god. Yeah, wow. yeah. We've been friends for thirty some years. We've been friends for thirty some years. That is crazy. Yeah. Oh, I mean, how? How was he as a roommate? Is he clean? I he, mean, was, like, <laughs> he, was a, he was a fantastic roommate. He's just such a lovely guy. We've right. been friends for so long, and he's just the best. He's the best. He, is. he was always so shy about being famous when he was younger. And we went to a diner, one of these old 50s diners once, and they had the little jukebox at each diner table. Oh, yeah. And Stand By Me was in there, and songs were a nickel, so I got like $2 worth of nickels. <laughs> And then all of a sudden we're sitting there and we hear doom, doom, yeah, yeah, doom, sure. doom, doom, yeah. and he's like, oh my god, what the? And then string of expletives, uh, yeah. and then it ends and he relaxes and all of a sudden doom, yeah. doom, <laughs> doom, doom, doom. <laughs> and so, but he's, I love Will. Will, if you're watching out there, I adore you. Oh, that is he's so the sweetest. Oh, Yep. Okay, so we have something in common. We're, yes. we're both stand-ups, yes. um, and we're both back on the road. Yeah. So how's it been for you? It's been good. I didn't tour for a while because we had a baby, and so for the first couple years, I wasn't, I wasn't touring. Thank you! Uh, my wife had a baby. I was very close by. Um, I shouldn't just give myself... When my wife first got pregnant, she said, I, I have news, we're pregnant. I was like, that is a very kind co-producer credit you've given me, <laughs> but it's really you. Um, but uh, yes, it's, it's been really good. I, uh, I, I started kind of mixing music into my set. Really? Yeah, because oh, you know, like yeah. stand-up is a really fun, simple medium. You it just, normally you just walk up and talk in front of a microphone. So I was like, how can I complicate this as much as possible? So <laughs> I bring a guitar, now I have to have a, rent a keyboard in every city because there's a lot of music in the, in the oh. set. But yeah. I that up oh, there. thanks. Well, I I, wait, 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 wait. Uh oh. You haven't seen it. I'm not that great at it yet. I'm, I appreciate your support. You're very kind. I started. I, I kind of joke with people because I've only been learning for a few years. So I sort of joke with the audience, like, "Hey, you just paid to watch a dude learn music on stage." But I started making songs for every city that I'm going to to kind of promote, you yes. know, for social media. So that's that's been really. Thank you. Oh, that's cool. So that's, that's been really fun. Cool. Yeah. I think we have a. Can I, can, I, can I do the talk show thing? I think we have a clip. Do we have a clip of this? Oh, yeah. I'm feeling so giddy because I was born in your city, so I wrote this here ditty. It's only partially witty, but who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? You've got a lot of horses. <laughs> I've made a song for each city. The next city I'm going to be in is in Salt Lake City next week. I made a Salt Lake song. I'm doing oh. a Denver song. Yeah, it's just a silly That's fun. Cool. fun. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Bangers. Um, when you are not touring, you are spending time on your new farm. Yeah, we got a farm. Are you, like, wow. so you're a farmer now. Wow. <laughs> I'm not, you know, if, if, if my you? wife and I were like Green Acres, I'd be the Zsa, Zsa character. Yeah. Like, <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, my wife's out there. She knows all the different, like, zones for trees. Like, oh, we need these kind of apples. We use this kind of. And I'm like, what's that brown stuff on there? She's like, soil. Yeah, soil. That stuff's great. Like, I have no idea. I have no idea. And she is so knowledgeable. So my wife is the farmer, and I'm nearby. Like, yes. oh. again, nearby. I'm nearby. nearby. Yeah. But this is beautiful.
here because you're pretty, you're known for being pretty nerdy. So yeah. how, how do you not know about all this stuff? I, I'm just not nerdy about agriculture, you know? Like, I don't, I, my wife can tell you like every variety of apple and I'm like, they're red. And she's like, not all of them. Not I'm like, all. okay, damn it. <laughs> so yeah, so I'm not, I'm, I'm more nerdy about like pop culture stuff. I was gonna say, okay, that's your yeah. nerdy yeah. niche. Yeah, right, that, that's my niche. Here. I know a lot about like Disney stuff and comedy stuff and horror movies and stuff <laughs> like that. But and uh, good segue, good segue. Well, uh, that was actually a perfect segue because your new show is about Disney. We're gonna have Whoa. more with Chris Hardwick when we come back.